hello guys welcome to the channel paper roll here today i have a um, kind of a unique video and it's gonna be about pets and how you should think about some tricks and about them especially rock gazelle and electric weapon the ones i use i want to talk about them uh, so this video gonna be kind of necessary to any ranger in my opinion so let's start or get right into it first rock gazelle as any bit has four skills one of them you can control which launch so the problem with Ragazel that uh, some people think of is charge when he uses charge as you're gonna see here when I'm use it he gonna run all this range 900 range once it hit the target it will continue to go after it and then go walk back slowly to the target so if you started from um, where I'm standing and your target was like standing here this is the distance i'm moving this is the only distance that ragaza need to charge for but he will continue for 900 range and then walk slowly and this can make problems if you walking through terrain like from a rock to it go under it uh, in bvb maps like uh, sky hammer stuff like this so what do we do to avoid such a problem first I said in another video that we can use immediately hit toss to cancel the rest of the animation of charge and keep the gazelle immediately behind the target. This can be useful especially if the target change uh, and give you its back because now you're flanking like in BVE if you are for example using rock gazelle and hit this firefly the firefly will turn to him so now you are flanking without even moving your character. I thought this is kind of delivered my point, but I am surprisingly a lot of people thought that this is only would work with hit those. So my mistake, but actually it would work with any command you give to the bit that can actually cancel charge. Hit those is best probably because you can chain CC and uh, it is the fastest to cancel the animation. Let me give you an example. Let's work from here. See? immediately move to trigger hit toss this doesn't happen if you use another command if you use something like attack my target rag gazelle and you will see it in the footage will stop both for a while and then turn back like a machine in a weird way and then hit again with simple auto attack so hit toss is better because it changes cc and go way too fast it doesn't make this problem and there is another problem with uh, this idea of cancel animation. If Ragazel started so close, like it didn't reach like the half of the animation of charge, he will take about a full second or even more to change uh, his position, like turn his head to be on um, the other side and then start hitting. But if it's like far like this one, and he did most of the animation, he will turn faster. Another thing, charge can make Rock Gazelle go through structure since he goes through anything he hit uh, until the 4 range uh, is reached, 900 range. So he can go through a wall or a gate, it doesn't matter. There's only two bits that can do that in, I think, like a lot of the time, which him and Jacaranda. But I don't use Jacaranda this much to talk about how to trigger it. Rock Gazelle is completely easy, you just have to have a target. Uh, behind the wall or behind the gate and Rag Gazelle being facing it directly like this is the wall uh, like I'm facing it like this and he will end up in using charge when it's off cooldown he will use it and go through the gate and f fight inside so like I said all those are commands that can cancel uh, the animation of charge so think of those as skills I know they are not all skills but you should think of them like this any one of them would act specifically the same way. You don't have to only use hit toes. Another thing I wanted to discuss about Electric Wyvern. Uh, he would always use uh, Wing Buff as the first skill, uh, like Ragazal using charge. But he has some bugs of his own. 
it used to be that lining assault has a, uh, no cast time so it used to be really buggy like if you immediately use it once switching bits or the bit using uh, a bearing from a passive state the electric weapon wouldn't move stand still as a am triggering the field and doesn't do anything when they added uh, cast time of three quarter seconds this bug became less happening but actually still exist this skill can fail from time to time and there is a lot of ways to trigger the fail like i said using it immediately like this the best thing to do is allowing this bit to either be far a little bit from the mob like this distance once you switch to it you need this distance and then trigger it immediately if you waited longer than that the animation of wing buffet which one you see right now will be triggered so if you use lightning assault you will cancel the other one so always keep watching for that don't cancel an animation uh, for another one so you'd lose the skill you'd put it completely in cooldown actually unless you were too fast enough that um, it didn't cancel so you need to be careful with that but i thought i should tell you about this bug so as another general tip i wanted to tell people about using bits there's four ways to use your bit or to think of it this ca they can be combined or you can lose some of them and those ways are a dbs source a minion that can tank damage for you or help you in any other way like uh, by affecting like if you heal others do stuff like this like when you use uh, the droid trait uh, when you hear other heal yourself it works in your bit stuff like this uh, so it can work as a companion uh, a db source and it work also as a skill source so some of the skills you have this uh, skill as the days you have this skill as lunch so we have boost cc stuff like this and lastly as a traded um, mechanic or i would call it mechanically this is how like i said this one like copying boons from your uh, bit the trait for power like uh, swiping bits trigger specific boons remove condition and this is trait so i call it mechanically so those are the four concepts mechanically a minion or a companion a dbs source and skill source now you, in competitive modes you don't have to keep all this in mind and every mode you have to choose what to gain what to lose what skills do you want is those skills worth that the bit to be tanky or not stuff like this in competitive modes, usually you wouldn't think of all, um, you wouldn't get all of them at least. Some bits like Jacaranda, people would use it in a bar build to be mechanically through traits, to be skills through the root, uh, to be a damage source. And you can use it through s to tank for you through giving the condition, uh, for example, using signet of renewal. But your bit in competitive modes doesn't tank for you is a general rule he is only something you use not the other way around so if you're playing something like druid your bit is 20 percent less effective in every way weaker is the word so it's not a damage source i would better use um, trigger mechanics through traits which is um, ancient seed i would rather have extra cc from skills i would rather have at least one tanky bit to to tank for me if you're soloing champions for towers, keeps, or stuff like this. So, I would keep it alive for the mechanic and to be able to access his skills uh, faster. But I wouldn't actually consider uh, keeping him around me for DBS and stuff like this. So the idea of your bit running around, doing whatever it does, being slower, missing, not being able to stick on a target is, is sad, but it is what it is in the game. And it's pointless since you still have the skills. And this gets us to another problem. Use skills that are actually effective. Some bits have good skills, but they kind of pointless in the battlefield. Like in World vs. Wood, if you're running with something like the Maw, the Maw would heal. But if you're not melee, he would trigger a skill that you can't control. And, well, how can I say this? Um... It won't heal you because you're ranger and you probably, unless if you're both melee stick to the target, you'll probably be far away, be uh, back from him, like not even close to him. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and uh, found it informative. Subscribe for more. And as always, I will see you next time.